Okay, we are joined by Hawaii head coach Charlie Wade, student athletes Valeria Boss, and Demetrius Buglius. Coach, if you would please begin with opening statement and then we'll go to questions after that. Yeah, just thrilled to be uh, still playing this time of year. You know, it's always a privilege to, to get this far and I'm excited to be playing against a, a really good Ball State team. Obviously, we saw them earlier in the year and they are uh, you know, a talented veteran group four graduate students and three seniors. That's about as veteran as you can get in, uh, in college athletics. So, uh, you know, looking forward to competing against them. Coach, I know you said that this is, you know, a different game because when you guys lost the first time, you guys didn't have some players, and now this is kind of a different environment. But still, what makes Ball State so dangerous? Why are they here? Well, what I referred to in the opening statement, Clearly, it's part of it. You know, with that much veteran leadership and talent, experience, athleticism, four graduate students, three seniors on the floor. That's as old as, like I said, you can get in, in college athletics. Uh, and they got size, and they got they're 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 really talented. The setters really good. Um, yeah, we were impressed when we were there, and, uh, and looking forward to getting on the court with them tomorrow. Uh, Gamer, for you, um, you know, you weren't a part of those uh, those series of Ball State. Um, if you look back then, you know, how tough was that for you to kind of just watch and not being able to help um, and support your team, you know, just and now looking ahead, like getting a chance to finally see them again, you know, how exciting is that for you or like, you know, kind of fuel to the fire type of thing? Yeah, no, it was uh, gruesome. Both me and Jakob were, uh, we lived together, so we were at home watching the games and having to uh, be watching that and not affect it at all, but now we're all here and uh, we'll have a proper matchup again. So glad to be here and be able to have this rematch with them. Demetrius, uh, you were there. What was the biggest takeaway that you had uh, from those two matches? Uh, well, uh, even though we didn't have three starters, we didn't have Jeremy, we didn't have Jacob, and we didn't have Chaz, uh, I think we fought really hard and uh, it was like at the end of the set that we, we lost it, you know, we lost, we lost some points. And uh, yeah, we should, uh, we should have fought harder and uh, yeah. Uh, Coach, how unique is it kind of where you play a team early in the year, but you almost feel like as much as you guys have grown as a team, but also that you didn't have three of your, your key players, that it was a totally different team that they saw that you guys would be on the floor uh, come tomorrow night. Yeah, it's a pretty unique situation. You know, I don't remember having something like that where we, you know, played a meaningful match and, and we're without four key players and three starters. So, like I said, I, I don't think that part's really relevant. You know, it's not we're not the same team clearly, and it's been a long, you know, season, and uh, I'm sure they've evolved too. So, um, you know, tomorrow's a, a totally different matchup and uh, and two really different teams. If I could just break away for just a second, Donan Cruz, a Maui boy, wins uh, Coach of the Year. What do you think that means for the coaching profession that uh, a guy from Hawaii was able to bring that home? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, Donan's a, a guy that you know, reached out to me early on when he was at Grandview and we brought them out to Honolulu uh, several years ago and we just kind of stayed in, in touch. And then as we were, we were talking about coming out this year, um, you know, he's, he's been really gracious and reached out to me about a lot of different stuff. And, we're actually scheduled to open the season with them in Honolulu next year. So, um, you know, we've got a good relationship and, and look forward to bringing him home next January. Question for uh, Guillermo and Demetrius. Uh, you guys yesterday, you had a sweep, pretty dominating win. Uh, tomorrow, are you guys expecting it to go that easy, considering you guys are that good, or expecting a little, a little bit more of a fight? I mean, any, any match is hard, even if yesterday the score was a bit more, uh, you know, spread out. It's uh, they still fought really hard. They were still playing at a really high level. And at any point, if we were to let off the gas, they could have taken a step from us. So I think we expect that from any match at this level. Whoever gives in is absolutely going to lose a set, maybe even lose the match. And, uh, I don't think there's someone that expects it not to be a good game tomorrow. Uh, we are sure that they will fight, and uh, it will be a pretty good match. Hey, looks here from Austin Block. Um, for all three of you, I wonder if you just take a second and maybe help educate the room and some volleyball fans, you know, watching. When you play a Ball State team that has a fast offense, what do you have to do at the net to slow down that type of offense? 
I think it starts even before the net. We are a very good serving team. If you can get the team off the net, they can't play as fast. So starting off with service pressure, that'll already help us quite a lot. Then it's just prioritizing their main weapons. I agree 100%. <laughs> And then, Dimitri's question for you, there's going to be a lot of great players out on the court tomorrow night, all State has a great player. Well, I want to ask, what does that mean for you to go up against one of your fellow countrymen? And just all, and just talking about the Greek volleyball culture, what is that like playing volleyball? Uh, it feels great, it feels great. Uh, we've been friends with Angelos uh, for many years, and uh, it always feels good to play with your countrymen. And uh, I had Spiros on my court this year, and I have, I'm playing against Angelos. Any more questions in the room? Charlie, if you can expand upon the meaning of the fans uh, to this program, you spoke at the end of the match uh, against Long Beach. You took the front, you addressed the fans. Uh, you said a quote that has become something uh, sort of the staple of this team uh, over the last few years. But if you can expand a little bit more about the significance of the fans and how that impacts the program as a whole. Yeah, it, it really, I mean, I could talk for a long time about the importance of uh, the support we get from the community. I mean, and there's them showing up and there's the financial support, but really just the mana, you know, the energy that we feel from them when we're playing. Uh, certainly the Stan Sheriff Center, but look how many people come out here and we know pretty much everywhere we go, their Hawaii fans show up. And uh, I think the quote you're referring to is that when we win, we win uh, not only for our fans, but because of our fans. And, you know, everyone associated with the program knows that that's true. And uh, we just try to, to, you know, do everything we can to put on a good show when they're in front of us and, and keep working and putting a product on the floor that they're going to be proud of. but I know what I would have probably said is just like in uh, the high level of play if you get blocked you miss a serve you have to move on from that quickly or it will affect the rest of your game if you lose a game you have to move on from that or it will affect the rest of your season so if I did say anything it was along those lines just keep it moving keep improving I'm pretty sure we talked about uh, taking it as a, a motivation these two losses and that we have to work harder because you know there are many great teams in this, this season. Charlie, question for you. This is uh, your fourth or fifth NCAA tournament. I just want to ask, what have you learned or have you learned anything from those previous experiences just to help your team continue to stay loose and focused and not get so consumed with any of the pressure or anything along those lines? Not saying that you're passing some yeah, no, I just think the more you're familiar with uh, kind of the routine, you know, how the days unfold and to help the athletes. And, you know, it's an advantage for us that this is our third year and the guys that have done this time, you know, been through the routine. So just knowing how the day is going to unfold and know what the media obligations are and knowing, you know, kind of how your day is built, I think, uh, is an advantage to been through that as long as uh, you can use it as that. Um, and I think that, you know, we've had success here in the tournament and, uh, we know how to navigate the day, and we know how to prepare and, and win matches to advance. Charlie, kind of on that note, all states here for the first time in 20 years. Even though they're the number two seed, you guys are just here. Uh, these guys have been here all last year. Game-wise, how do you think that experience could play uh, a major role here tomorrow night? Even well, I think it's uh, is it, uh, a, a boxer had a quote where uh, everybody's got a plan until you get hit in the mouth. And, uh, you know, get punched one time. So I think you, you're, everybody's going to kind of prepare the best they can. But once the match starts, you know, and you start playing and it gets down to just playing, then it's, you know, how you're going to deal with the, the guys in front of you and your side. So um, I think it's, it's, it's a bigger advantage getting you through the week. But once the match starts and the balls are in the air, it's about who's going to perform at the highest level. Yeah, I mean, could you add anything to that, knowing uh, that you were a key piece last year, that experience having like to play a role? Yeah, I mean, I can speak to how being in the spot in the past certainly uh, adds on to your own confidence and volleyball being such a game of momentum. If you're confident and you're playing and you're, you know, loose, playing well, you'll continue to do so. 
So I do think that we uh, have uh, obviously more people that are coming back into here that have been in the tournament before. But just like we said in the beginning, they're a very experienced team and they can supplement the, that from other games that they've had. For example, like a lot of other good teams that they've versed at just as high level. Any more questions? Thank you, Wayne.